Coming up next, the sexy Lexus LC500. Hey there, Mark Savage, Savage on Wheels. We've got a beautiful car for you here today. Lexus LC500, LC Luxury Coupe. Think of it that way. Otherwise, I can't remember either, all these initials. It is a beautiful styling job that Lexus has done here. Last time we had one of these, Paul, it was just a prototype or a pre-production model. Uh, this one is finished, and we're going to show this thing to you. But check this out. Beautiful lines. And, I mean, this looks sexy and like it's ready for speed, right? Yep. And it's got plenty of speed. This one's a convertible. So we'll put the roof down and we'll show you that too. Uh, and Paul, I know we always talk about the big grill, but this grill is, while big, it looks kind of awesome. I think I love the shape of it here. Uh, you know, of course we got the big logo, but I mean, this, well, this it, fits in. It's not as obnoxious as the SUVs. Right, the SUV and of course the grill stands I know, this high yeah. and that wide. Uh, that doesn't do it for me. But anyway, it's a beautiful car. Uh, we'll show you the one, well, there's two weak spots that I found with this. First of all, 21 inch wheels, and those are monsters. Look at the size of the brakes in here, man. I think they're like 15, 16 inches. Uh, that's kind of crazy. Here's one of the weak spots, though. Uh, you're not going to throw a lot. <laughs> Paul, go get your golf club. No, we can't get the golf clubs in there. This has does have a, a wind and screen. screen we can yeah. put on there if we wanted to. It says like three and a half cubic feet of, you know, you could put a couple overnight bags in there. Yeah. Right? You know, you could do that. Anyway, whoops. And of course, got the little bit of a flare on the back there for a little downforce. Yeah. Gorgeous lights. I mean, this looks like it's a jewelry piece of jewelry here, doesn't it? I mm -hmm. mean, this is silver and really snazzy looking. Mm -hmm. uh, dual exhaust, and we'll let you hear that in just a second, too. Uh, Paul, you want me to hunt, hunt, jump in and we'll fire it up? You yeah. Listen to it, yeah, and we'll put it on this roof. Okay. Oh, Paulie Likey. <laughs> Take that, EVs. We're going to okay. show you, first of all, you think, where in the heck, how am I going to put the roof down? There's all these other controls, nothing. Oh, it's hidden under this little teeny flap here. This puts our windows down, which we already did. But now let's show you how this thing goes down, and it's kind of a work of art as it goes down here. Oh, wow. take long about 15 seconds but man it's, uh, there's so many moving parts to it it's like ballet isn't it yeah so you put that down and uh, this thing I uh, gorgeous interior I mean the stitching on the dash is nice everything fits beautifully here uh, similar one, to the Corvette right yeah, here some little Corvette you got the handle there for the passenger especially I need that if you're driving and actually there's one on that side too, yep. so you're gonna need yep. you'll have two of these here but uh, quilted leather seats uh, and a nice pattern on, on the door frames here and the door panels. Uh, this will close if we want. There we go. And otherwise I can open this up, which is actually helpful because you can either put a cell phone there. There's no wireless charger though. That, you got to plug it in underneath here. So that's kind of a little bit odd, but you know, you're in a tighter confinement here because it's a sports car or I would call it a GT, more of a Grand Touring because mm -hmm. it's got a beautiful ride. Uh, of course, all the usual buttons. The other weak spot, Paul, we've talked about this about a million times. What's this thing Oh, here? yeah, the trackpad uh -huh. or whatever it is. This is the little touchpad that we got here. And, you know, okay, the good news is I can hit the map here, and I can at least call a map up on there if I want. That's good. Radio, I can call that up, but to, then I have to hit, okay, I want uh, X, S, uh, XM radio. Now i got to scroll up and down, and it, it kind of sticks part of the time, so it's not always getting on there. Easily. Educator, uh, Mark Kohler. Mark helps listeners in or near retirement protect their savings from market volatility. Let's turn that down and off. That is the volume knob. That's good. We also got it on the wheel over here. Of course, the cruise control on the wheel. Here is where you adjust all of the uh, settings for whether it's sport, normal, custom, uh, comfort, and eco. Uh, this over here is for snow. Uh, I'm not, yeah. I'm probably not going to take this out in the snow. I'm just saying. Uh, Lots of vents across here, good looking dash, kind of a uh, fancy looking trim there that looks kind of like uh, carbon fiber, but uh, maybe it, it probably is because this is a pricey car. Uh, anyway, great car, hugging seats. I will say this, my wife's a little shorter than I am. She does not like it. It pushes her shoulders in too much. But if you're 5'5 or older, I think you're going to enjoy this car. 
Let's take this thing out for a spin. Might be a little back seat. That, that back seat's a little snug. I mean, I'm short. How much room we got there, Paul? Maybe six our, inches? Our daughter Meg could, my daughter Meg yeah. could, yeah. But here's the thing. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off and we'll show this. Oh. Oh, that's, oh, that's but, nice. And it all powers back, the wheel powers yep. up. That's nice, but if you were sitting behind me right now. Not good. That's not a good thing. I'm eating my knees. Here's another little funny thing. We'll show you this. Oh, those handles open on both sides. Yeah. Here's this. I can flip this forward to let somebody in back there, right? Oh. But they're look, never getting out. <laughs> look, it powers forward. Oh. Oh, there. wow. And when I fold it back, it knows where it's supposed to go back to. So that's kind of cool, too. Uh -huh. But this is mainly for luggage. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, I'm, I, even small children, I don't think, would be comfortable having back here. Right. One of the unusual features of this car is uh, in a fall. Here we are. Oh, Let's, wow. Yeah. There's heat. There's heat. Coming out of my... Well, no, here, watch it. I'm going to show you how we uh, get some heat out of here. Uh, first of all, this is where it's not fun to play with all this. But you got to go ding, ding, over to the climate, hit climate. Got to come all the way back across. Oh, it goes to headrest. 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 I will turn mine on. I don't need a full blast. And I'll turn yours on. We'll turn I it can up. feel it. I'm not, yours was already on one. Yeah. I guess I had already put it on. But you got three levels you can put it on. And it's heat, coming out right heat there. Heat comes out of your headrest up oh, here. Oh, yeah. So. Who thinks of that? I don't know who thinks of that, Paul. But, you know, thank goodness for them. Because <laughs> especially we live in Wisconsin. And. This is August, folks. Look, we yeah. got fleece and jackets on here because it's only in the 60s today. Uh, one of our rare days we're going to get rain. Luckily, we're getting this in before it starts to pour. Anyway, uh, an interesting feature that this that has on it. But what is most interesting to me, Paul, is this thing is a speed demon. It is a rocket ship. We're going to take it out on the highway and show folks that in just a second. Looks like we've got a clear shot. All right, we're going to head onto the highway here. Take these hats off just in case the uh, wind gets to be too much. And uh, I've got it on the Sport Plus setting, so we firmed up the steering. And we've got 471, nearly 500 horsepower here, Paul. Let's see what it'll do. We've been out on the highway now. We've been out on the country roads. This thing handles like a dream. I mean, this is not a race car. This is a GT car. This is a, a grand touring car. This is like, you know, thinking a, a Jaguar or something like that in the yep. past. And, and I'm sure it's something now like the, the F-Type now. But, you know, it just, it handles great. Uh, it's got a, a special uh, Yamaha differential and Torsen. Uh, differential on this thing and uh, that's only 460 bucks extra we got some extra dampers on here some Yamaha dampers on the back and I mean it just rides nice I mean you could drive this cross-country it could be completely comfortable you can you know when you want to blast off and and really have a lot of power you've got oodles of power I think they said this is a like 4.4 seconds to 0 to 60 that's quick and that's quick I mean you know now, if I have a Corvette or something with 600 horsepower, and I, you know, it might be a similar amount of money. Not all those, you know, the BMW we had that a while back, that eight uh, 800 series, and it was very nice. Uh, but again, this is so comfortable; it's not going to beat you on the ride. Um, I don't know. It's it's a really impressive car. I think both visually, performance-wise. And uh, I don't know, it, it's not something for everybody because of the price, but everybody can enjoy this thing. Okay, so obviously fancy Lexus sports car, uh, how much is this baby gonna run? Well, this one is $113,000 as it sits here. You can get it for a little over 100 for the convertible version. There's also a coupe, starts at 98, so not a big discount, but a couple grand extra for the convertible. I'd want the convertible because you got the power top that's going to come back up. 
you know, you can you can drive it. It's going to be fairly quiet. So uh, anywhere from ninety-eight to one hundred and thirteen thousand dollars. And I know, Paul, you love Corvettes. Yep. The Corvette now is up to about one hundred and fifty. Yeah, they're getting up there. Yep. Uh, but it does have like six hundred and some horsepower. Yep. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Wow.